is really the first. This is no, this is that 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 that. This is a Jeff. I'm disappointed. Sunday morning, we're getting ready to go to church. <laughs> and you still haven't drank all your tequila. All your tequila. Tequila. <laughs> Disappointed. Disapp I blame him myself. <laughs> yeah, he did it all. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, start without me. way back there. Focus, bitch. Well, stamp, okay, yeah, I see it. See how it's recording now? Uh-huh, and then check it off, and then again to off.
where we're punching in. Right, I, I know that. How long does the song go from there? One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, that kind of 16? So I just did it four times through and broke into the da 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 da, -da like that, and he kept going. Okay, that's good. 16 of those. Well, what's going to happen? Then it goes. Okay, you know the whole part I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to do that 16 times. Then at the end of that, does it go? Dun 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 dun. dun. It just ends. there, Will? Yes, I do. Okay. 16 of them. Okay. No, I'll just start playing where you start to tape them. I guess.
grew up in the north coast of the Hoopa Valley Indian Reservation. Yeah. There isn't a cop in California that wants to go into Hoopa Valley and search for pot. There's not one alive. Is that where you got it from? The Indian, they got deals worked out, man. The Indians protect them so well. Is that where the spot's from? Yeah. Well, yeah. tell them about hookah. Smoking Cattle Hoopa. Smoking Indians. Giving them a call. Hell are you slut? Wait till your old lady finds out about them two broads you were fucking oh. <laughs> Camera. What? No, wait till your wife finds out on that chick that you ended up with. Well, my wife would be pissed off that she wasn't chick. here to join That you. wasn't a chick. Oh. oh, I forgot. It was the person, uh, the female impersonator you had the other night. That was it. Now you know why my wife won't be pissed. <laughs> wasn't fucking around on another girl. Yeah, yeah, right. You're fucking around with uh, Yeah, but she ain't going to want to play with your thing no more. And it's all dirty. Now, boy. Damn it. <laughs> so why are there 12 songs on your album? Why? When well, everybody like else has 10 songs well, on his album. He's got 18 on his. We why? Started, we started out with 10, didn't we?
Oh yeah. It's a beautiful morning. There's a giant. It is. They are in passion. Worthless fucking baseball team. Why are they even in the league? Won quite a few minutes. Yeah, I know. I used to be an ace fan. This is the night of the night. Oh. And there's a picture of Mike's foot. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. In his jammies. <laughs> My jammies. Yeah, the Giants are doing great oh, this year. Love it. They lost today, though. Did they? Yeah, they got whomped. Sup? Sup, man? Like, hey, what's happening? I don't, like the white I don't know. This is on. This is on down there, man. Yeah. <laughs> when, the, when the White Sox picked up Bo Jackson, I just went like, hey. I started taking it. Backstage is proud to have Skip's Music as its sponsor. Welcome to Backstage, I'm Lori Sacco. We have a great group coming up, Prior Park. But first, I have to thank the DJ Connection here in Sacramento for providing our theatrical lighting. We really appreciate that. And also, hi to my dad. He's in the hospital, so he, they, he, they don't get uh, cable TV at the hospital. Mm, Aww. So he can't see it, so we'll tape it for him. Anyway, coming up, Prior Park. Richards, Richards, say hi to my dad.
at Friar Park with me. This is Jeff Heller, bass, keyboards, vocals. Jeff Boudreau, drummer, vocals. We also had William Guevara. Close enough. Did I say that right? <laughs> guitar. Jack Hurst, guitar and vocals. And Mike Williams, keyboards and vocals. And the name of the group is Prior Park. Is there some park you know of that's named Prior Park? Yeah, actually. Um, yeah. We were searching <laughs> through some books looking for a name. After we put this act together, we were searching for a name for the band. So we decided, well, we'll just go to the library, get a book of some old things over in Europe and start surfing through it. And we surfed and surfed and came up with this castle. And this castle is like a really beautiful, ornate looking U-shaped castle with some beautiful mm -hmm. grounds on it and lots of trees and merry old England kind of a thing. And uh, it was uh, owned by a guy named Sir George Pryor. And Sir George Pryor developed the British postal system in 1757. Wow. And so we just thought, Pryor Park. So where's this park located? Northern England. Wow. Somewhere up north amidst the trees. Have you been there? Nope. Now wouldn't Same that pictures. be neat? Now that would be nice. That would be cool. We thought about it for our album cover. Oh, is that right? Yeah, but we couldn't That's afford it. That's an expensive album cover. <laughs> <laughs> we can all dress as Melman. Just, you know, can't, maybe there's probably tours that go through there, this place. It's probably a landmark. Kind of right? like a Kiss the Blarney Stone tour. You could probably call and ask them to send you a postcard of the place or something. Ooh, I mean, that would this be, really be nice? I'm can you really? be our manager? <laughs> <laughs> really? You could do that. We probably could. You could mm -hmm. do that. I'm sure of it. Now, you guys used to be, I don't know how many of you used to be in Eden Shelter. I mean, that was that just one of you. Yeah. Was this, well then, Ian Shelter goes back how many years? Because I used to see Ian Shelter okay, at the Oasis 80, Ballroom. <laughs> 80, 79, 80, 81, yep, Oasis. Ballroom. Oasis Ballroom, that's yep. where I used to see you guys all the time. And that's Maurice Fitzmaurice yep. was your keyboard player. <laughs> Does that bring back? <laughs> Maurice. Maurice. Yeah. Who are you, Maurice? John Flanagan was also playing guitar. Whatever happened to Maurice? Now, he was a friend of mine because I went to school with him at Sac State. Uh, last time I heard he went to L.A. I don't know yeah. if he came back. He got Alive. a job drumming for Spinal Tap and he's <laughs> self-combusted. <laughs> yeah. Gone. My favorite movie. So, so, so now, wh tell me, how did it get from Ian Shelter? Was that the original? No, well, Ian or Shelter... Or is this nothing? I, I, nothing I, lived, Ian I Shelter. left Ian Shelter in 81. No, this has nothing to do with Ian Shelter right, then. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was it's Ian Shelter no. uh, just revisited. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay. This is history. Forget I mentioned Ian Shelter. We're not into that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the laws well, have changed on that stuff. Okay, story. well, you were in Ian Shelter. What groups were you in prior to this? I played with Joker back this. then. <laughs> prior, prior to the park. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Sacramento bands. Joker, uh, Silencer, Castle. All around the old he days when castles, the Rock Factory and. Yeah, we like castles, yeah. <laughs> hence Friar Park. See, and castles. what about other members of your band? Jack Hurst, we just... Uh, well, let me Raise your hand, Jack Hurst. That's, me. That's <laughs> him right there. We just stole him out of the San Francisco Bay Area because uh, when we recorded our album last year, our original guitarist, <laughs> whom we will allow to be unnamed, uh, met an untimely demise, shall we say. Oh. Yes. And... Uh, so we stole Jack out of the Bay Area. We felt he was a real plus for us. And, uh, and the infamous child prodigy. He infamous says, child infamous prodigy. child prodigy. Oh, known only to himself. And Mike Williams, raise your hand. And, what, and where'd Mike come from? What? From his brother's band. <laughs> my brother's band. We stole him from my brother's band. Yeah. Your brother's a musician? Yeah. What, what band is he? He's hit and run. OK. And uh, who am I missing? Yeah. William Guevara. Guitar. He was in a band called Not So Not So for a long time. I guess that's the one that most of Sacramento would remember because every time I mentioned his name, that's what they said. Oh, he was in Not So Not So. And he was Not So Not So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, six, seven years ago. Six or seven years yeah. ago. Oh, he's old history. He's the old guy in the band anyway. Yeah, he's pop. Yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, you guys have a lot of experience as musicians. Oh, yeah. Well, and definitely. And, um, a lot, yeah, yeah. How did you get to this point now with Prior Park? How did you form it? Jeff and I were playing in a band... Uh, years ago, after the In Shelter days and everything yeah. like that. And My own band, basically the Jeff Heller Collection. Mm -hmm. And we did that for quite a few years. And then I met up with Will. And Jeff and I were together. And we went through tons of different drummers at the time. You know, but yeah. Jeff would be doing his thing, working with KCRA and stuff like that. And uh, we finally got a record contract through Statue Records. Through what? Statue, Statue Records Statue out of Record. LA. And it uh, took a lot of hard work. And uh, that's where the point where we're at now. Uh, our release will be out the first week in April. Great. And it's now, named. is that with this? Um, what's this? 
Yeah. That's Calm a little down. That's a little promo thing. That's a little promo thing. This is a big promo yeah, thing. Yeah, a little promo Here, thing. Here, Derek, can you get this? The future. Big promo yeah, thing? we're the future now, people. What is this about? What That's just the poster. The poster. Just a yeah. strictly a promo poster. A it's our album photo on the cover album there. Album photo. But this photo right here. You done? Did you get it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this right here is? This photo right here is the actual album cover. This is the actual. That's pretty neat. That's going to be the album cover. We have an international flavor in the yeah. band, so, so we Ma decided to keep it all passports and everything like that. Well, we got a black eye in a band for that R&B kind of a feel. We got a little <laughs> south of the border flavor in here. We got uh, couple Jeff, of white he's, guys. he's kind of unexplainable. <laughs> a couple of white guys, you know. A couple hey. of white guys. <laughs> so we figured it was an international thing. So there we just go. took all of our yeah. stuff, threw it together, smoked some cigarettes, put them in the ashtray like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent promo. Yeah, There's a promo. shot of tequila down there yeah, in the bottom, yeah. too. I see. And, and a loose and screw a somewhere. A New Zealand <laughs> dollar bill, I take it, yeah. or something. And he's from New Zealand. Bonus. Oh, a friend of ours went to New Zealand. Oh. <laughs> He's not in the band, though, right? No, no. Oh, okay. No. So you just threw everything in here, basically. That's a potpourri, kind of like us. And you know? is the music on your CD kind of a potpourri kind absolutely, of thing? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. There's six How or seven different styles. <laughs> what a segue, Lori. God, you're awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, what kind of styles are, are on your CD? We've got some, I don't want to categorize us to any one thing because it is so varied, but we've got some Night Ranger type mu music on the album. We've got some. Jethro Tull style music on the album. We have some R&B. We have a song that Chrysalis Records was interested in, and uh, hmm. it's called One Kind of Woman, which I think we're going to do here a little later. Oh, okay. So uh, you'll get a chance to hear that. And unfortunately, there's Fijian money in here, but uh, we don't do any Fijian tunes. Well, I was you in Mexico. Learn. Yeah. Hey. What's wrong with you guys? It's a now, Fijian. Now, why am I holding this CD then? What is this? Well, that this says Jeff th Heller. That's the start of the history of. That CD right there is a conglomerate of all the years of working with Jeff and all the, the unsheltered days and stuff like that. It's a conglomerate of all my writings. I think he wants you to buy one. Yeah. Oh, you so buy <laughs> <laughs> well, that is available at Spirit and Tower Records oh, anyway. Okay, so. sh okay sh we can't do all that. This okay. is community. We can't promo <laughs> our <laughs> albums, no matter so where you, they're so, Jeff, so, so the two Jeffs are on this? Yes. Okay. Along with a whole bunch of other Sacramento yeah, musicians yeah. That, and oh, they, that right? And they know who they are. And they know who they are. <laughs> like, name mm. some that we would know. John Flanagan. Oh, Maurice. Maurice Fitzmaurice. Maurice. Nah. Fitzmaurice. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's actually on No there. way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Funny. Way. <laughs> way. <laughs> and so you guys, my voice is cracking. It's not, well, I'm not doing much. Yeah. <sighs> so that's what started it. When we did this disc a couple of years ago, we started using this CD to, as mailers to start shopping out to all the major labels and whatnot, and we finally got a bit, a bit. We got a bite from Statue Quite Records. Quite a few bites, but Statue now was the one. Statue's the one that came up with the right contract. And you probably can't go into that, but Not how do you depth. get hooked up with a record company? What do you do? Teach a our viewers. A lot of time, a lot of patience, yeah. patience, <laughs> patience, <laughs> patience. <laughs> And more patience. In spite of the fact Don't that we like to fax them every overnight, day and threaten people. them people. It's 20 years. It's 20 years. Yeah, it's 20 Plus. years. Plus, it yeah, takes a lifetime. And you have to want it. If you don't want it, you're not going to get it. Because basically, when they say go, you got to be ready to go. And that's what Prior Park is doing right now. We're all taking our time. We're rehearsing almost every night and yeah. making it happen. So when the road comes up, uh, right. we don't know what artist we're going to be opening up for, which it'll all, where we go will all be determined with radio play, where the strongest market is for us. That's where we'll go. Now, where have you been playing so far? Just local clubs? Or? We haven't played anywhere here in Sacramento at all. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Right. We're going to stay away from it. Are you on the road? We will be, very yes, shortly. Okay. Very shortly. And, and will, do you look forward to that more than absolutely. recording in a studio? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely. And then going back in the studio after we're touring. We have another yeah. album we want to yeah. do, so. Yeah. You know, so you just, we have to make sure that we're marketable on our yeah. first one. Now, what? Make how our do you label feel happy. that, um, is there a big difference between audiences? in the 70s and uh, audiences today. No. We hope not. No? No. I yeah. Don't, I don't think so. Because, see, Jeff is, is adorned here in his three-dog night attire. <laughs> oh, yes. He's, he's, yes. he's matching very well. Yeah. I would have and Jeff's in his 90 grunge. <laughs> see, this is a kind of a grunge <laughs> thing. Will's got the south of the border commando look there. Michael's got the warehouse look. And, well, Jack's Jack. Jack's Jack, yeah. He's a San Francisco look. Bay Area boy. <laughs> Don't bend over and pick up that quarter, whatever you do. Now, did you, I mean, did you guys have to change your music, your style at all from the no. 70s? Actually, oh. no. Uh, what we did is the labels that were interested in our CD, in our product, what they were saying was rock it up. Make An it edge. a little more contemporary. Give it a bigger edge. And right. we have it now. Similar to what Van Halen did with Pretty Woman. 
They yeah, just yeah. gave that song yeah, a major right. edge. That's yeah. what we did to our own material. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's everybody loves it. Speaks our sound itself. engineer says we found a niche and uh, our Good. record label's real high on it. Real quickly, Jeff, what did you do at Channel 3? What were you doing? Uh, I worked in engineering department down there. worked in production department, uh, ENG edit. For, for so how long? Ooh, a year and a half. Worked on a show called TV Light down there. Oh, God. You know, TV Light with Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher, yeah. I love him. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah. But this he's show's about us. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so forget it. Okay. Anyway, we're going to listen to you guys do a few more tunes. Who, who, who's the girls with you here? This is my quickly, wife, Lori, quickly. sitting right next to me. Quickly, here. and. Okay. Nothing to do, what can you say about all the beautiful things of living? Except now to be forgiven, the waters alone at my feet. The sand is a castle with no one to breathe. Why do the walls? I guess it's just to be fulfilling Of all the beautiful things of living Except now to be forgiven The waters alone at my feet The sand is a castle with no one to She's my
Okay, go for it. And go for it! <laughs> Smile, you're on candid camera. It's almost 7 o'clock, just like you said, huh? Yeah. Right on schedule. Oh, shit. Quite the time to do that. <laughs>
last check. <laughs> Clear, that was excellent. That's it? Very good. That's, that's great.
think it's time for some like real hair. Bye. Record. So here I am with my bud Jeff Pedro. He's just a turn uh, gay televangelist. And uh, Jeff, we're here.